Alright, welcome back to the channel, and today we are playing a Roblox anime game that added Luffy Gear 5. Now, if you guys don't know what game this is, I'm playing Anime Dimensions, and I'm not gonna lie to you, they added Luffy Gear 5 a while ago, but I figured why not go ahead and make a video on the game either way, because at the end of the day, it is still really cool. So, so in today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and be trying out some of the raids, and then we're gonna go ahead and do some missions and see how well he is of a character. So yeah, without further ado, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on all post notifications, and don't forget to join the Discord. There will be a link in the description down below, and yeah, without further ado, let's go get right into the video. All right, so as you can see, if I go inside of my character, as you can see, I already bought Luffy Gear 5. I kind of forgot to record the part where I'm going to go ahead and buy him, but let's go ahead and equip him, and then I'll have my Infinite Gojo as my uh, second character to help me out. So here you go, man. As you can see, they did a really good job with this skin. I really, really do like it. And he has some really cool effects and, uh, and moves as well. So we're going to go ahead and check that out as well. But as you can see, the raid opens in 20 minutes. So I will be back in 20 minutes, and we'll go ahead and check him out and how good he is inside of raids. So I will be right back. All right, so there is currently a minute left before the raid goes ahead and starts. Now, if you do go to the raid shop, you can clearly see that there are more items for Luffy's uh, Gear 5. As you can see, that he has uh, a mount or an accessory, and then uh, obviously he has costumes and stuff like that. But for now, um, I clearly don't have enough. <laughs> I literally have one left. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to be doing this for now. And, yeah, for the raid, I'm probably going to start doing Tangan um, or Uzuvi, whatever you want to call him, just because um, I really wanted to get him. But for, uh, for making this video, I chose to go ahead and get luffy gear 5 plus i really wanted to test him out myself you know luffy gear 5 in a game sounds cool as hell so i'm gonna go ahead and create a tangan raid hopefully we can go ahead and get one of his cool characters but he is definitely a way harder boss than he is a way harder boss than luffy gear 5 that's for sure uh trust me i've done both raids multiple times at this point and uh there we go we got we got ahead i can't even talk we got a full party on our hands hopefully we'll be able to do something good now i'm gonna be honest with you i'm probably gonna mute the audio because uh if you ever do raids um, the, uh, it just, <laughs> it becomes complete ear rape because it's nothing but spamming moves. So let's go ahead and try them out. I'll go ahead and start off with using this. Go ahead and use that. All right, we got that. Now there is a fifth move. Uh, I'm not entirely sure when exactly. Jesus Christ, bro. Oh my God. All right. Uh, as you can see, we're going to go ahead and stomp right there. He's got really cool moves. Okay. So I'll, I'll do a, a better description. Okay. So, uh, coming army, which is the first one, uh, we jump up in the air and throw lightning bolts. There you go. Our second move is gigant or giant, whatever you want to say. He obviously, as you can see, it's just a giant stomp. Third move is monkey god fist. We get these really huge fists. As you can see, there you go. We've got a lot of range and they do, uh, increase damage, I believe. So, uh, overall pretty cool. Uh, doesn't look like it lasts too long at all as a matter of fact and then for 10 seconds we have our move again um which is obviously the uh the big gear three um with hockey on but we'll go ahead and test that out in a second all right so we have it let's go ahead and do it now as you can see we okay there you go how many hits does it give that's the question um 15 so i'm gonna assume it must do a stupid amount of damage because for 15 hits it's not too many all right let's go ahead and activate our gojo as well Kaminari and Gigans. Okay, dude, that is a really good move. Kaminari right there. It has a 25% chance to go ahead and completely reset to where you can go ahead and use the move again, uh, even if it's not done with its cooldown. So that's really cool. All right. And then Monkey God Fist again. I will right, we'll go ahead and use this move. All right, we got to be careful though. Like I said, this guy is a way harder boss um then luffy is luffy is such an easy boss dude i think that's what made it so easy for me um to get his stuff but when it comes to this boss that's definitely not the case all right we got to go ahead and use this so we don't get hit by that there we go nice oh yeah wow look at look at my damage counter bro that thing is just going up like crazy crap let's get over here before this runs out all right kaminari now come on reset okay didn't damn it all right so we have uh oh damn it we died all right so we have 21 rewards as of now um, I try and go for at least 25 or 26, and, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and see what we do. I'm gonna go ahead and reset just to go ahead and use Luffy Gear 5 more. Um, but yeah, whether or not he's worth it, um, I'm not entirely sure yet. We'll go ahead and do some more missions after this to go ahead and see, because this is a raid currently. This is not a normal mission that you would be doing to go ahead and, uh, level up and stuff like that. Um, but so far, for raids, he's, uh, he's seeming very good. Okay, you know what? That's kind of stupid. Let me just go ahead and use my fourth move, whatever um and his moves also seem like they're good i don't know did i hit him from all the way over there if so that's crazy nice our move got reset monkey god fist let's go ahead and use it yeah but let me know if you guys went ahead and watched one piece yourself or if you're already done with it i'm currently up or i just finished the thriller bark arc um and i'm getting up to the fishman island so i'm hyped for that but yeah i've been watching it for like over a year now it's just i kind of get bored of it because i can't watch a show for more than like 100 episodes without getting 
sick and tired of it and then i need to take a break and stuff so i've been holding in though because they've had some good parts within these couple of arcs so I've been able to watch a lot more than usual. Alright, now, another thing to note is that if you do end up evolving this character, yes, you can evolve him. I didn't even realize until I actually got the character yourself. But you do end up getting a fourth move, and the fourth move is actually really cool, and it does good damage as well. So, um, sadly, I wasn't able to get that. It was just too hard of a, of a thing to go ahead and do right now. I just wanted to go ahead and do this. Um, but yeah, you do get a fifth move. I'll probably showcase that in training after just to go ahead and give you guys an idea of what it is. And then we'll get into some uh, actual missions and stuff like that so we got to 24 rewards like i said i'm gonna try and go for 25 or 26 the highest i've ever gotten is with gojo my infinite gojo i've gotten 26 and i almost got 27 so we have two minutes left i'm gonna go ahead and try and beat that score if it's possible all right so the raid just ended uh i'm gonna be honest i think he's good for raids but i definitely don't think he's the best to be fair this is the first ever raid i've done with him so i don't know his moves and his kit just yet perfectly um but as of now i can already tell you right now gojo is a way way better character than that um and for the simple fact that he just has a lot of iframes that do a ton of damage so uh like i said i'm gonna go ahead and do the training to show you guys the actual fifth move of it so as a matter of fact i i think if i were to go ahead and get luffy gear 5 evolved and then get that fifth move i'm sure i could probably go ahead and do a lot better because it's a whole other move that i get to do and it does good damage as well now the cooldown isn't the greatest on it as you can see it's number five as you can see it's number five type uh, i don't even know how to pronounce that but uh, whatever all right so i'm gonna go ahead and show it as you can see it's right here as a matter of fact i can turn on my volume now i'll go ahead and raise the volume for you guys too and let's go ahead and use this move this move is actually really cool so let's go ahead and show this off <laughs> so yeah as you can see you hear his little laugh and then it's just like a whole barrage 92 hits by the way so yeah that move is very very cool and it's good as well hopefully in damage at least all right so yeah let's go ahead and get to the normal missions and uh see how good this guy is all right so we are now inside of the solo match let's go ahead and get these guys all bunched up and then use our gigans move let's go ahead and see this and we sh we're almost there let's go ahead and use it now yeah dude <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's for sure good. That is definitely, definitely good. As of now, that's probably the best move. Now, I'm going to go ahead and try out the Kaminari. Not bad either. They're basically, they're, well, they are literally one shot. Yeah, okay, they they really were. All right, now, second move or third move, I want to try out Monkey God to see how useful this move is and see how much damage it does. And let's go ahead and try it out. Okay. Uh, Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, well, it's actually not bad at all. Jesus. All right, so so far his whole entire kit is seeming like it's extremely useful all around and actual story missions like I said in raids uh, not so much just because there are other better characters in terms of like iframes um, and stuff like that that just do a lot more damage like Gojo's kit is just insanely good now let's go ahead and see how we uh, how we handle Kaneki right here um hurry up okay let me go ahead and use okay crap oh wait no it still does it okay let's go ahead and use Giggins okay wow and let's see how this move does then we'll go ahead and use monkey god fist kill the rest of the npcs around me along with it and gigan should finish them all off right yeah oh my god bro this guy's cracked okay sorry uh, that, that was kind of cringe we're not in fortnite here all right let me bring these guys around now all right get these last two guys here and go ahead and step back then use gigan's nice all right but yeah i definitely need to get my level up in this game as you can see i'm now level 87 um but if i want to do more damage and raids and get more drops overall i do need to get my level up to get better cards because cards is truly what carries you if you if you don't have good cards and you're doing bad damage that's exactly the reason why obviously you need good characters in this game that's just an obvious one but uh the cards is truly what carries you in terms of damage dude that's so good oh my god now even with story missions though i'm not gonna lie to you who's better gojo or luffy well to tell you the truth i'm not really sure but um all i know is is gojo's kit is really good so it's a tough one here but uh, i don't really know unless i were to go ahead and do a, a side by side but all i know is from experience gojo's moves overall are just in, in, like insanely good so i don't know we'll see not to mention gojo's moves is just like a simple reversal red or uh, uh 
blue whatever the names are i forgot the names but you can just go ahead toss them just continue running uh with these moves you kind of have to jump up in the air and uh stall some more time all right now we are going against the final boss now this guy's annoying as hell like i said so we'll go ahead and see how we do against him all right let's go ahead and just keep him there then we'll go ahead and use our spec there we go then we'll use Giggins. oh what the he did not take damage from that all right all right we gotta be careful bro oh my god my hp all right he's below 500 hp or 500k hp uh fast do this really quick nice oh what the oh that one shot him okay and okay i mean hey i'll take it we got a blue card not bad all right so yeah that's pretty much it as you can see luffy sun god or luffy gear 5 whatever you want to call him is a very good character now in terms of if you should go get him or if he's worth it um well i guess that's pretty much up to you as a matter of fact i don't know why i was comparing him to gojo because gojo's not even in the game anymore that's my bad um but in cases of mine where i have both of these characters now that would have to apply to me but i just actually realized i screwed myself over because luffy gear 5 seems like he's a permanent character uzui is not uh so that means i'm gonna have to go ahead and grind <laughs> uzui's right now but uh i guess it is what it is and uh yeah that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching i hope you did enjoy make sure to like comment and subscribe if you want to go ahead and try this game out yourself there will be a link in the description down below and uh yeah don't forget to join the discord and i will see you guys in the next video peace out